So do you know what Al Ma'moon did? Al Ma'moon came and he said that I want to, to, to get the best scholars to finish Ali ibn Musa Rabbah off. I'm going to get the Jewish rabbi and the Christian priest and the leader of the atheist community and the head of the other schools in Islam and I'm going to embarrass Ali ibn Musa Rabbah once and for all. So Imam Ali ibn Musa Rabbah was told you have to come. He said where? He was told you have to come to Al Ma'mun's residence. Why? The rabbi and the priest and the atheist and the leaders of other schools in Islam have come to debate you. <coughs> come to debate me? Why? Aren't I a Muslim? Isn't the Khalifa meant to be a Muslim? <coughs> Why is a Muslim getting a Jewish rabbi and a Christian priest to debate me? <coughs> and why is the Khalifa getting an atheist? But anyway, let me go and try and answer the questions. Wallah, Imam Ali ibn Musa turned them round in circles in one day. <coughs> Christian priest, you want to ask? He said, yes, I hear you're a man of knowledge. Imam al-Rabba said, go ahead, feel free. Ma'mun says to the priest, priest, finish him off. <coughs> Show him, he has no knowledge. The priest says, do you believe in Jesus? Imam al rabbah said yes. Do you believe in Muhammad? Imam al rabbah said yes. He said, what do you say about Jesus? He says, we say Prophet Jesus prayed and fasted a lot. The Christian priest said, that's, that's very, very interesting. And what do you say about Muhammad? Say, so we believe in the Prophet Muhammad and we believe he prayed and he fasted more than the Prophet Jesus. He said, so what are you trying to say? He said, we take the Prophet Muhammad higher than the Prophet Jesus because he prayed and fasted more than him. The Christian priest said, how dare you say that someone prayed more than our Lord Jesus? To which Imam al rada replied, if he is your Lord, can you tell me who he was praying to? Oh, 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 oh. That's a killer line. If he's your Lord, who's he praying to? A Lord praying to a Lord? How many Lords do we have? The Christian priest said, okay, I think that's enough for me, and he left. Jewish rabbi. Jewish rabbi now looked at the Christian priest. He thought, what am I going to do? Jewish rabbi said, you believe in the prophets of God? Imam al said, yes, of course we do. Imam al turned around and said, oh, Jewish rabbi, do you believe in Prophet Musa alayhi salam? He said, yes. He said, why? He said, Prophet Musa alayhi salam had the shining hand and he, the Nile and the serpent which was, a, which was a stick, became a snake. And the sea opened for him. All of these miracles prove he was our prophet. Imam al rabbah looked at him and he said, so anybody with these feats is a prophet? He said, no, you just have to be close to Allah as well. You have to be close to God. So he said, but do you believe in prophets other than Moses? He said, yes, yes, we do. He said, but did they do the same? He said, no, they didn't the same but they had miracles in their own time he said so your criteria is a prophet who has miracles which are different from the people of his time as a prophet he said yes he said so why did you reject Jesus son of Mary Jesus son of Mary walked on water and he raised the dead and made them alive and he cured the blind why don't you accept him as a prophet Jewish rabbi said I think that's enough for me and he walked away atheist came now the atheist was very arrogant so he came to Ali ibn Musa Rabbah and he said, I don't want anyone to interrupt me. I will finish this debate quickly. He said, Ali, where and how is your God? Imam al rabbah said, why are you using the language of human to human with me? He said, what do you mean? He said, where and how are terms me and you use? Allah is outside the dimension of time and space. <laughs> Allah cannot be perceived by the senses. The atheist replied, if he can't be perceived by the senses, that means we can never see him. He said, exactly. The fact that you can never see him made you think he doesn't exist. The fact that we could never see him made us understand how limited we were. What a line. Ali ibn Musa River. 
And he went on and on, and that's why I recommend all of you. There is a book in Tabligh, the biography of Imam al Rada. The whole debate is there. Imam al Rada and the Christians and the Jews and the Hindus and the atheists and the Zoroastrians. The whole debate. And you found that Al Ma'moon was embarrassed at that situation. Al Ma'moon had no answer. Then Al Ma'moon, what did Al Ma'moon do? Al Ma'moon after that, Imam Al Rada, Al Ma'moon said, This doctor and this doctor and this doctor, one's a Hindu doctor, the other's a Christian doctor, the other's a Muslim doctor, they have all written about medicine. Ali ibn Musa, what do you have knowledge about medicine? He wrote a thesis called the Golden Medical Dissertation of Al Muhammad. Do you know why it's called Golden? Imam al rada when he wrote it, it was just called the medical dissertation. al Ma'moon and the doctors said, we have never ever heard anyone talk about the anatomy of the human body with such precision. al Ma'moon said, very well, I don't want it written in ink, I want it written in gold. They wrote it in gold. Imam Ali ibn Musa al therefore, what did you find? Al Ma'moon was seeing his popularity was on the rise. Al Ma'moon knew he made a big mistake allowing Ali ibn Musa Rida to be announced as his successor. Now Al Ma'moon had to get rid of him. And the way they get rid of these Imams of Al Muhammad, I tell you, the way they get rid of them. Al Ma'moon comes up to one of his companions and he says to him, and I want you to hear this, because Imam Ali ibn Musa Rida has many hadiths where he talks about Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam. Imam Ali ibn Musa Rada, do you know how they killed him? Al Ma'moon asked someone, listen to the disgusting mannerism of these people and what Imam al Rada had to cope with. You know, Abu Salt, you know what he says? He says, I went to Imam al Rada and I saw the Imam and he was sad and he looked tired. Imam al Rada looked tired. I said to him, Imam, you're looking sad, you're looking tired. He said, Abu Salt, I miss Medina. <laughs> He said, I miss the land of Medina. I miss my family in Medina. May Allah 